Tonight, we're finding out what elected leaders are doing to improve conditions at the Van Dyne Center for Rehabilitation and Nursing. The past two nights, we've shared the frightening, revealing claims from some about life inside the facility. Now, News Channel 9's Madison Moore asks how the facility's administration will be held accountable. Feeling trapped like you can't escape is how Colleen describes the past eight years at Van Dyne Center for Rehabilitation and Nursing. And I just feel like, you know, it's being in here, it's like a prison. A comparison every resident we've spoken to has made. And it's stories like this that led local elected leaders to pay a recent visit to the facility to find out what's really going on behind closed doors. There are still a lot of unanswered questions. State Senator Rachel May toured Van Dyne alongside Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh and State Senator John Mannion. But I was also kind of concerned that they rolled out the red carpet for us and made it, you know, showed us these beautiful parts of the facility, but we didn't really hear details about what they're doing to address some of the complaints that we've heard. May says administrators of the for-profit company brought the elected leaders to the top floor of the facility where no one lives and says the answers they did receive sounded more like excuses. I can't say that we learned a whole lot from it. But she's hoping a soon-to-be-released Department of Health report will provide some real answers. And they went in a few days before we were there and have not issued their report about that visit yet, but I think we're all waiting to hear what they have to say. And while the elected officials are hoping to find solutions to these problems, many residents think it's too far gone. I really think it needs to be shut down because it's not good working. The Department of Health investigation is expected to be released later this month. As soon as it's available, you'll hear about it right here on News Channel 9. The DOH added that nursing homes are required to submit a written plan of correction when deficiencies are cited. And if you or a loved one has experienced neglect or mistreatment at Van Dyne, you can file a complaint with the State Health Department by calling 888-201-4563. You can also contact us here at the Your Stories line by sending us an email to your stories at localsyr.com. Madison Moore, News Channel 9. Madison, thanks very much. Great work this week on this story. We offered Van Dyne administrators a chance for an interview to go on camera with us, but they said no. They did offer us a statement. They say new admissions are stopped, more staffs being recruited. You can read their full statement provided to us at localsyr.com.